What's up, dumpster diving millionaires? Back at you with a video three weeks later. Wow, it's been a long time since I posted, but I got this crazy thing that I'm hauling behind my truck right now I wanna show you. Now stick with me. So let me tell you the story around how I got this. There's this gentleman in town about 20 minutes away who needed some help. He's moving to a ranch in another state and he needed help clearing out his property, some junk removal. So I pulled out like 20,000 pounds of scrap steel and aluminum that was just laying around all rusted out and stuff and um, then at the very end he surprised me with what I've got back here and what I don't know is what I'm gonna do with it so I'd like you guys to tell me in the comments what you think I should do should I scrap it should I try to fix it should I sell it I have no idea let me show you what it is so this is it here I've been hauling it on my truck and it is just uh, what looks to be a custom built, rusty old, I don't know what antique. I mean, obviously it's a saw, but for what, right? Like there's a saw blade here that's gonna spin. And what are you gonna do? Like split massive logs with it or something? Except for like, you can't, like because of where this is, you can't run the log through because you know, it's gonna run into that. So then it's gotta, you know, just be whatever you can fit in this small space. So that's what I'm curious is what on earth was this used for? It's really cool though. And I've never seen anything like it, which makes me think that it was custom built. I do know the gentleman who I was doing the junk removal for, his father-in-law was a welder. And so this very well could have been something that he you know, custom welded himself and put together for something that he needed done. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this. Do I sell it? Do I scrap it? Do I do something else entirely? All right, so I did a little bit of investigation online and it turns out this is an antique buzz saw used by sawmills to cut logs. And like I thought it wasn't gonna cut them long ways, but uh, short ways to cut like a big timber into a smaller timber. So. Online, this is going for $1,500 is the lowest that I see, up to a few thousand dollars. Obviously, it's a pretty niche item, so I don't know if I'll be able to sell it, but definitely going to see if I can. Much rather get $1,500 or even $1,000 out of selling it than maybe the two or $300 I'd get from scrapping the whole thing. So that's the plan. Going to see if we can sell this $1,500 antique buzzsaw. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and make sure that trash flow turns into cash flow. Catch you next time.